Let's hit those super chats. Super chats. Uh, let's see. We have a uh, three. It looks like the first one from Adam S. Does Owen Tippett have the reddest hair in NHL history? He is a full on ginger. That's like he is. I don't even know if you can say ginger. It's like fucking red, red. Well, it's like the uh, you you remember the old episode of South Park? Yeah, like you're like, a ginger. You're dude. a daywalker. Yeah, like, <laughs> that dude is red. Yeah, like, like you have the like orangey yeah. light brown like that's what a redhead his is legit like fire engine red almost no oh and tip it <laughs> I, I cannot say with certainty that he has the reddest <laughs> hair i'm sure there's probably at least someone who if we go back through the annals of nhl history who was more of a redhead than owen Tippett. but in comparison to like guys like claude drew and jake voracek where like yeah they had reddish hair they had like me red hair where like yeah, when I have a beard, it's more obvious like, that it's Bobby red. Bobby Clark, it looks like compared like looks like he has black hair compared compared to yeah. Owen Tippett. There there are a lot of guys on those mid 2010s fire yeah. teams that we called redheads, but really were ginger beards. Yeah, they were ginger beards. They just had the with brown beards. with brown yeah. hair. Yeah, but the beard was red because they did have like brownish red hair. Owen Tippett straight up has red hair. Red hair. Yeah. Uh, that's it is funny this team man redheads they love them they love it uh let's go let's go to jh i love g but very happy to have a younger ginger a younger ginger yeah and you i always got to have at least i one. saw this article uh i saw this article on uh where was it sportsnet today the 13 active nhlers who are hall of fame locks and Dr drew wasn't on it and I want to just get into that maybe a little bit tomorrow probably, if we have time. He, I don't think he should be viewed as a Hall of Fame that's, lock. Yeah, that's, and we'll get into that I, maybe. I, I am as big of a Claude Giroux defender as you're going to see, and I would not argue that he deserves to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Yeah. That's, that's not true. But we'll get into that list maybe a little bit tomorrow if there's time. And the last one from Linden49. Uh, can you do a Travis Sandheim show in the future? Well, I think it just comes down to how many of these season reviews I get through. Because what we're doing is when we have these – focused on one player shows it's coming after i do a season review yeah. i believe i have sandheim's review tentatively scheduled for like early september so hopefully i get to it there are other players who i think are a bit more interesting in terms of whether they had a more interesting season whether they're younger so we're not sure what they're going to ultimately become that i want to get to first but sandheim's on the list i'm interested like just thinking do I have any of any opinions left on Travis Sanheim? <laughs> like, or has Travis Sanheim just kind of been like, all right, this is what I am? Like, now, I guess the thing is following it up. Right. Like, he's never had two good years in a row. So that's kind of what we, where we have to go. I've next. written about Travis Sanheim so many times. Yeah, I mean, it's. It lines up perfectly with your career. Yeah, I do like this. Travis I do this the, every year. Yeah, and I'm always writing about Travis. Travis Sanheim, Sanheim is the player, like him and Couturier. The, really. Yeah, Coots. I get like I guess the timeline doesn't line up, but like his breakout does. Yeah. Like Sanheim is like when you started through. Yeah, oh, I was. I joined Broad Street Hockey. I guess in like the end of the 2023, 20 or 2013, 2014 season, and then 2014 was the draft. That's the draft. Philly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We all silly like the mayor. 